In this video, we're going to show you a technique for locking down your Access Web Database from users that want to try and open it in Access 2010. The way to do this is to first go under Site Actions, Site Settings, and then select Site Permissions. Then under Users and Permissions, select Site Permissions. And what we're going to do is add a brand new permission to the default levels installed by SharePoint. Underneath Permission Levels, we'll click Add Permission. And when we add a permission, we're able to give it a unique name. In this case, we'll give it something descriptive like No Native Access. And then you have the ability to select a series of permissions at both the list and site level. By selecting these seven permissions and nothing else, we can allow users to contribute to the data in the Access web-based database, in other words, the forms and reports that are rendered in the browser, but those users will be unable to open the database in Access 2010. So again, it's very important to be careful here and select only those seven permissions and then click Create. So now that we've established this new permission level, we can go back to our site settings and under site actions, site permissions, we're going to grant permission to a new user that uses that no native access permission set that we just defined. When we click on grant permissions, we're going to use an account that's already been defined to the Active Directory domain. And if we select Grant Users Permissions directly, you'll see that the No Native Access Permission has now shown up on this list. So we'll go ahead and select that. And at this point, our DevTest1 user account will be able to add information into the database via web form, but will be unable to open the database in native access. So let's go ahead and test that now. So here's a database in that same site collection. We're going to go ahead and sign in as that user that we just added the no native access permission to. So we'll go up to the top right corner of the screen, select sign in as a different user, and log in as DevTest1. And the first thing we want to make sure of is that the user can, in fact, modify the information in the database via web form. So we'll go ahead and make a change, and we see in the top right corner that the record was updated. We'll also check that the reports are rendering correctly and that the user does have the ability to go in and render any web-based reports. And, in fact, they do. But now we're going to go to the Options menu and request that we open the database and access. Now, in most cases, someone with contributor permissions will have no trouble doing that. However, in this case, we're prompted for our credentials, and if we go ahead and try to sign on with native access using that dev test account, we will be denied and reprompted for a more appropriate set of permissions. So we know that everything's working. We, we have effectively locked the user out of the database in native access 2010.